That's good for him. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Please uh, share the screen. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, let me see here. I bet, yeah? Yeah, it's, I'm not sharing it yet. There we go, there we go. Go ahead, Alexander. Today in history, April 5th, 1986, a bombing at a disco in what's when West Berlin kills an American soldier and a Turkish woman. woman. The U.S. retaliates more than a week later with an air raid on Libya, narrowly missing its leader, Muammar Gaddafi. Excellent job, Anne. Ninety sixty. Holly, mute your mic, please. Go ahead, Anne. Okay. <laughs> Nineteen sixty-four. Old soldiers never die; they just fade away. General Douglas MacArthur dies in Washington at age 84. MacArthur led U.S. forces in the Pacific during World War II and the Korean War, also overseeing the, occup the occupation of Japan. Excellent job. I especially love the way you read this intonation. It was perfect. Uh, Daniel, 1856. Okay. 1856. Booker T. Washington, the African-American educator who founded the Tuskegee Institute, is born in Franklin County, Virginia. Great job. And Gene? 1972. Reclusive billionaire Howard Hughes dies at age 72 while being flown from Acapulco, Mexico to Houston to seek medical treatment. Everybody's doing excellent today. That's great. Holly? 1984. Karen goes in a Skyhook score! Score! <laughs> score. <laughs> Karen Abul Jabbar becomes the highest scoring player in NBA history, a record which he holds to this day. Excellent job. And Cooney? Yeah. Mm, and, and 2006. Sometimes I think change is a good thing. Kelly Carlick says she's leaving NBC's today's show to become anchor of the CBS Evening News. She's the first woman hired to be the solo anchor of a network evening newscast. Excellent job, great job. And let me go back to the beginning. I think I try to find at least something for everyone. It was very difficult, so I'm being very particular. Uh, I'll go to Alexander. A little bit shorter on the I sound. West Berlin, uh, I'm sorry, kills an American. Kills an American. West Berlin kills an American. Now that sounded good. Before it sounded a little bit long, keel, but we don't want to say keel, kill. Kills an American. Kills an American. That sounds very good. And then I went to Anne. Also, I want you to emphasize this more because this, this is a really horribly written sentence. Uh, the order is very confusing. So listen, uh, and Anne, just repeat after this section. Just listen to my intonation. MacArthur led U.S. forces in the Pacific during World War II and the Korean War, also overseeing the occupation of Japan. MacArthur led U.S. forces in the Pacific during World War II and the Korean War, also overseeing the occupation of Japan. Exactly. And uh, that also would hit very hard. Excellent job. And uh, this was Daniel. Danny, you said county, which is absolutely fine. We can also say what? What? <laughs> what? I don't know. County. We, can, we can cancel the T. County. Uh, yeah, county. Perfect. But, Shane. Yes. One remark. Uh, I heard the man who said this uh, said county, county, like flap T. Ah, uh, county. Yeah, that's possible too. Absolutely. We can say we can say like that. Why not? 
Okay. <laughs> Three possible. Three possible. Anything is possible. You bet. Yeah. <laughs> county. County. Yeah. I would say county. I would say county is the most common with no T. And then county. 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 Well, I guess the flat T is probably more common than I would guess. Yeah. County. 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 Yeah. County. That's right. Gene had no problems here. Gene did a great job with uh, Howard Hughes. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> and this one also, uh, Holly, it's intonation, just like um, Anne's sentence. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar becomes the highest scoring player in NBA history, a record which he holds to this day. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar becomes the highest scoring player in NBA history, a record which he holds to this day. Perfect. And Cooney, this word more A. Become anchor. Uh -huh. Anchor. Perfect. Anchor. Mm -hmm. And you're pronouncing this with three syllables, which is correct. Evening. However, mm -hmm. that's not that's not exactly correct. It's evening. 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 There you go. So CBS Evening News. CBS Evening News. Very good. Network Evening Newscast. Network Evening Newscast. There you go. So remember everybody, this word is not evening. It's Eve, like Christmas Eve, okay, which means the night mm -hmm. and ning. It's not evening, it's evening. Yeah, lots of people uh, say evening. All right, questions on anything? It's too darn easy, right? Did you like the explanation video? Alexander sent a nice uh, reply. Yes, he did. Hello? <laughs> Is everybody here? Somebody has a question. Yes. Mm. Not question. No questions. No comments. No nothing. I've just uh, something to say. It's a, a coincidence, but uh, I just uh, watched a, a movie. Uh, it's called uh, in English. It's Arts War, and it was about two. Uh, to pilots, to to America, to uh, African American black pilots, and uh, they were from uh, Tuskegee uh, ah. Institute. And it was the first time I heard of that. And uh, in the week, I, it was two times. It was two two times. <laughs> oh, that's that's so brilliant. That's great. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you. It's a, a, a movie uh, with Bruce Willis. About the, the in the during the battle of uh, the Bulge, the, the Bataille des Ardennes. It's Bruce Willis. Yes, is um, uh, Tuskegee Airmen. Hearts War. Hearts War. There we go. Hearts War. Yeah. Yes. It's and, a new uh, the, movie. The, is it new movie? Oh. Two two thousand and two. Oh, okay. Mm, I saw it. Uh, there are just two black prison uh, black people two pilots and uh, we can see uh, how the, uh, how much the racism the yeah. racism was was at that uh, time you can see the racism during the war uh, yes 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 was it they bad? were uh, they were officers but uh, they have to go with the the, the simple soldiers <laughs> because they were black wow so even though they were pilots, even though they were officers, they were forced to hang with the uh, the regular soldiers. Uh, what did that mean? Heart is uh, the name. It's the name of it's the name. name. Yes. Name. Yes. Oh, First okay. Lieutenant Thomas Hart. Hart's War. Okay. Wait a minute. Wow. Um, so this it was a good movie. Yes, but uh, it's. It seems that uh, they were not so good uh, uh, critic uh, after the, the, but I think it's a good movie. 
Ah, uh, so, so the so the personally, personally. Yeah. so the movie critique wasn't that good, but personally, you thought it was a good movie. So so they were so so, but mm -hmm. I think it's good a good movie. Yeah, I never pay attention to the movie critics. But it was because they talk talk about Tuskegee that I I had a declick something in my head. Oh, I I know that. <laughs> that is so excellent. That is you know that's yes. <laughs> That's what. And that's why you know by when we study many different subjects, uh, we actually hear about them, um, and that that really helps uh, your motivation and helps your understanding and helps your pride too. Yes, and it's uh, bizarre because when we hear about something in the same week, it's uh, to more easier to it's easier to remember. Absolutely, and, and and I'm sure you know, you will never forget this now. No, <laughs> sure. Yeah, you'll always remember it. That's right. That's right. That's fantastic. Great. Any other comments or questions? Well, well, since, well since there are questions uh, about anything, I have a question. Okay. Pins the pins the question. Go ahead. Oh, here, uh, ch ch uh, check out chat room okay well and I, uh, I want to ask you about that uh, sentence why they why did they put wood because I, uh, I, I don't know I, I wouldn't do it let me see it may I, take you longer to contrive your way out of doing your homework than wood to actually do it yeah, grammatically you might want to say then it would to actually do it. You could add the word it and it would be easier to understand, I think. Is that that, is uh, that? No. That's So what is what is maybe? Help. Give me another word for may. Might. Right. Might, right. So these words are contrasting. Or, or I mean are, are related. They're not well, per, 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 uh, personally if I were to write this uh, this sentence, uh, I, I I wouldn't include would and eat at all. Okay, but this is actually a very uh, common, uh, and this, this is a common pattern. So I'll give you some more. Um, So this is actually a very common pattern. Um, it might, da -da -da -da, then it would to, da -da -da -da. Um, oops, this should be it. Um, it might be, I'm using it might be in, in both these cases, but, uh, but this is actually a common pattern, then it would, then it would to, uh, for both of these cases, and it's pretty much the same here. It might, da -da -da -da, than it would to da 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 da. Do you do you, do you kind of see the pattern, Daniel? Well, I see pattern, pattern, but uh, isn't isn't it easier to say just uh, than to write him letter? Ah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. You could delete that too. Then then writing a letter. Well, it might be easier talking to Shane than writing him a letter. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. We could we you could uh, cancel that. And change this to writing. Yep. So th uh, that that that's that's uh, what I, what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about because for me it se seemed redundant. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh this is what we call speech mitigation. But my opinion is uh, it would do more uh, emotionally. Yeah, it, it tries to add emotion. It's it's basically beating around the bush. More humanly, more humanly. Yeah, it's 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 what we call speech mitigation, um, and what that means is delaying the point on what you want to say. So speech mitigation, beating around the bush, uh, delaying 
your point or opinion. Um, and this is actually very common for people uh, when, when you're a little bit shy or you don't want to be so direct. So if you don't want to be super direct, um, this is the type of speech, this type of pattern that people would use. So I do agree. Um, without this, it's much more direct and much easier. But by adding this, it sounds softer. Your recommendation sounds softer. Your opinion sounds softer. So it makes your recommendation or your opinion sound softer or more polite. Does that make sense, Daniel? Yeah, thank you. That, that's actually what I wanted to, to, to hear about you to say me. I, you know. Excellent. That's what I'm here for, damn it. <laughs> Contry, what, what does it mean in this? Uh, to contrive your way out. Uh, it means to, oh boy, fabricate a plan. Make a plan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I like the dictionary. Yes, uh, yes. I'm sorry. I like the dictionary. Uh, when I put on uh, the word, but the dictionary, uh, the diction, uh, uh, dic, dic, dictionary, uh, uh, <laughs> dictionary, <laughs> dictionary. <laughs> the dictionary, dictionary, oh, dictionary, <laughs> dictionary. Uh, dictionary gives me more, more harder, more hard the words. The Word, words yeah. Uh, yes, uh, I. Wait, uh, the explanate of my words si uh, uh, by simple words, by several simple words. But uh, I, I, I put, I write down to write, and it gives me. Yeah. Oh, it's frustrating. I, that's why, you know, when we talk about my glossary, um, I try not to use the online dictionaries. I try to give you um, my definitions. And, and sometimes my de definitions are only true for the sentence we study, the sentence we learn. But... I try to make it easy English. I try. Yes. 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 We are like a child, like a children. <laughs> but it's important. I know I, the same thing. When I when I studied the Korean language and I would look up a, a word in the Korean dictionary, I would I would spend 20 minutes in the dictionary looking up <laughs> other words and looking up other words yes. and going yes. back. Yes. What the heck? <laughs> uh, but I try uh, not to read Russian dictionary. Yeah, right. Uh, I I try to to catch the meaning from English dictionary. But That's... I found several uh, dictionary pretty simple. Uh, one one called is Merriam Merriam dictionary. Uh, I recommended it. Yep. Uh, and uh, recently I found. Uh, the uh, uh, the next one, um, not too bad dictionary. Uh, it called Collins. Collins yeah, Collins Colville. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I like um, I like it uh, uh, because uh, there is there are more um, phrasal verbs. Right. Phrasal verbs. Yes. I recommend it. Yeah. You know, if you can, uh, well, that, well, that. I also, let me, let me just make this, I also recommend instead of a dictionary, use a thesaurus. Yes, yes, yes. It's great resource. It's yeah. great resource. Uh, Collins and 
uh, I forgot the name, maybe dictionary, la la la, uh, ha, uh, has a, a the source, it's great. Uh, uh, we catch the meaning from uh, synonym, synonyms. Synonyms, uh, synonyms. Synon synonyms. It's, yeah. it's great, it's great. Go ahead, Daniel. Well, there are actually a lot, a lot of dictionaries, and all, all these dictionaries are uh, oriented specifically for, for a particular le level. You shouldn't go to, uh, high le to some kind of high-level dictionary like uh, just dictionary.com because they use many, many, uh, wo many kind of fancy, fancy words in, in their, def their definitions. So you can use Merriam-Webster learning, dic learning learning dictionaries specifically designed for ESL learners. Yeah, yeah, Mary. Uh, right, Long uh, has an ESL Mary, dictionary too. Uh, yeah, and and so and so and so that and so uh, has uh, Oxford. Oh, Oxford does too. Yes, yes, uh, they all they all they all have. Yeah, and. And when ESL dictionary seem for you too easy, you can go higher and use another another dictionary. But uh, learning dictionaries that specifically designed for learn for learners ESL ESL learners, uh, there. Uh, because they use definitions that didn't uh, that that don't that don't affect a very uh, tiny field. So that they don't take they don't, they don't get give everything. you uh, an, an air about this word. You know, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, they don't get everything sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, feel air about 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 the word. Yeah. So. That's true. So, uh, but uh, I I can recommend <laughs> vocabulary.com because it explains uh, more in a cultural way, and they make their definitions pretty funny. So they 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 do pretty they kind of cook up some interesting examples and they and you can catch uh, very slight uh, strings very slight differences between nuances the words because, because for, well for example if, if I can remember they they say uh, <laughs> uh, for example inside uh, uh, the word inside uh, I mean, they t they say uh, the word inside uh, uh, have specific uh, connotation with something something. The word, for example, uh, wait, wait wait a minute. What did they say? Well, okay, well, I I I don't want to want to. O over protract this conversation. So, uh, all, all I want to say, all I want to say, is that uh, they give you uh, slight differences between words. Very good, very good. So, vocabulary.com is a good place to really yeah. catch the nuance. Yeah, but it's. It, I think it's the last place. Where it's it's good place, but it's the last place. It should be the last. Last place when you when you confident with uh, all with an, another dictionaries. So it is a little bit of an advanced level. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, I I, I, I just remember <laughs> the word. Uh, they uh, they give you. Uh, well, wait a minute. Astute. The word astute. Mm -hmm. It was the word astute. Uh, well, they say. Uh, other synonyms are perceptive, emphasizing insight, and discerning, emphasizing the ability to distinguish. So, y y right now you can 
uh, catch this difference between these words, what they say. Yeah. Uh, so usually, uh, um, Oxford diction Oxford dictionary and Merriam-Webster do, uh, do not do such things. Right. But, right. Right. That sounds uh, really good. Let me let me let me move on here to to Holly's question. Uh, what does "way out of" mean uh, in "contrive your way out of doing something"? Um, so, to your way out of means to not do something. So you you have a there's you have to do your homework, but you devise some sort of plan. So your way refers to plan. Contrive means make. So make a plan out of doing your homework so that you're not doing your homework. Does that make sense, Holly? Um, yeah, so plan and way in this case uh, are, are the same, yes. Uh, and so uh, in this case actually contrive out are linked together. It's not a phrasal verb, but they are linked together. Okay, uh, can we say uh, uh, um, change out to instead. Mm, no, contrive your way. Contrive your way instead no, no, no. of doing. No, it, it, this, is, this is the idea. I'll, I'll rewrite it here. It might take you longer to make a plan to not do your homework. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is the same thing. So Escape. Escape, yeah, yeah, work. escape, escape. I like that, escape. <laughs> there you go. Uh, don't, 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 don't you is, not know uh, Hold up, go, uh, Cooney, go ahead, Cooney. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just imagine this kind of situation. Somebody asks the other friends, use the other, use the other friend to do uh, his homework or something. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's possible, that's right. Yeah, there are students are very creative. <laughs> yeah, but use uh, what uh, run uh, computer or such uh, and programming uh, mix up the programming that kind of simple program. Yeah, it <laughs> takes a long time. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, when our vocabulary so small, uh, we are so creative. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to wrap this one up here. We're going to go to DDM 108. And DDM 108, of course, was Seinfeld. Crazy Seinfeld. <laughs> and I think the first scene is a little bit long here, Greg Langer. Oh, not too bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and start. Well, let's start at the beginning again. And I'll get everybody to read here for sure. Uh, Alexander, can you be Greg? And Anne, can you be Elaine, please? I'm glad you're here. This can get really boring. You know where I can get some good Alex? Anne, your microphone's on mute. I can find out. Would you? Show. Oh, a pot check. <laughs> That's a definite signal. <laughs> you know, by the way, you look really great in this leotard. Oh, thanks. That's no signal. Who wouldn't like me in this leotard? I look amazing in this leotard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's the weird? I think I had a dream about you last night. Okay. He opens it with me, he dreams about me, we have an all his project, that's it. I'm asking this guy out. Um, you know, Greg, I... Can I have a sip of your water? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you saying? Oh, it's what's nothing, forget it. See that guy right there? Yeah, you mean him?
uh, urinating in the shower. I think I'm, I'm thinking about turning him in, into. Good. Let's do, do the last one one more time. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this one more time. The whole thing, uh, Alexander. Oh, Alexander, turn your mic back on, please. There you go. Uh, yeah, I caught him urinating in the shower. I, I'm thinking about turning him in, too. Great job. Excellent job. Uh, let me go back to the top for you, too. And everything was great. Yeah, this is Leo. Leotard. Leotard. Actually, Leah. Leah. So, Alexander, Leotard. Leotard. Perfect. And Leotard. Leotard. Great. Leotard. Perfect. And say this one a little bit quicker, Alexander. Hey, you know what's weird? Hey, you know what's weird? Perfect. And Anne, hey, I want know? those I want those H's. Okay. He open lips me. Okay, okay. He open lips me. And no H here, just here. He open lips me. <laughs> he he hopes and lips me. He dreams about me. He dreams about me. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And ah, and then Alexander, turning him in, turning him in. Turn him in, turn him in. This is really tough. Turning him in, turning him in. Turn him in. in. Good. Turn him in. in. <laughs> turn him in. in. I'm thinking about turning them in too. I'm thinking about turning them in too. <laughs> One more time. I'm thinking about uh, turning them in too. I'm thinking about turning them in too. That sounded pretty good. It's not easy. It's <laughs> tough. Did you, Alexander, did you do the dictation on this sentence? No. No, okay, that's okay. I never yeah. have a chance. That's okay, that's fine. You did a great job reading. Okay, let me go to our next group here. We got Meryl, Jerry, <laughs> yeah. uh, Alan. When I when I dictated, I'm sorry. When I dictated uh, that phrase, <laughs> I I I thought, what Greg wanted turn. <laughs> Everybody was writing man. This, the most common mistake here was man turning man. Yeah. Turn man. Turn man. So yeah, I, I heard lots man. of man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why, why, why he want to turn man? <laughs> he wants to become a man. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Oh boy, Greg. <laughs> okay, the next one here. Let me see. I need uh, Holly. Can you be Meryl? Okay. And David, can you be Jerry? And Daniel, can you be Morty? And Jean, can you be Helen? Okay. And Cooney, for now, can you be Kramer? Kramer, okay. All right. And let me go back to the top. This is a long one here. Let me get rid of my mug. All right. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> Honey, can you get me something to drink? <laughs> you were right there. Come on, I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, what did you do with the can opener? I didn't do anything with it. Well, it's not here. It was here yesterday. It's in the first drawer. I'm looking the first drawer. It's not here. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, I'm not stupid. I'm looking at drawer. There is no can open. Did I say you what is stupid? Well, wouldn't I have to be? You tell me there is a can opener in a drawer. I'm looking at drawer. There is no can opener. What are conclusion could one reach? You want me to go find it? Yes, I do. <laughs> you show me where there is a uh, can open in a draw. Hello, I'm sorry. I'm just fighting with my wife. Jerry, we just heard what's going on. 
Damn. <laughs> Why the hell did you tell us? <laughs> Listen, mom, I was. It wasn't it was... here. Well, I'm sorry. It wasn't here. <laughs> it's another m woman. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't here yesterday. Yeah, that's what I said. Who is she? When did this happen? I told her you'd get married. She thought uh, she thought you'd never do it. Marty, you're talking too loud. I'm not I'm not talking loud. You heard in my eardrum. What? You must have done something with it. I'm on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Is she there? Can we talk to her? What's her name? Mom, I'm not married. What? I'm not married. <laughs> I knew it. I told you. Uncle Leo said. I'm just pretending I'm married to get a discount on dry cleaner cleaning. A discount on dry cleaning? Could you make a little more noise noise? Listen, I'm gonna have to call you later. <laughs> what? I give up. Well, whoop, whoopy woo. You got any coffee? Yeah. Oh boy. Jeez. I'll get it, I'll get it. Take it easy. Why are you so tired? My quill is still at the cleanup jelly. I can't sleep without my quill. Like the other nine, I was coarse, so I so last night I turned up the heat, it's too, it too hot, I opened up a window, it's too cold, I can get into a zone. What is that? Huh? That? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> All right, everybody did really wonderful. Uh, intonation and the the acting ability was great. Um, let me go back here to Jerry's line. This one, one more time, please. And I forgot who was who, so you're gonna have to help me, David. I think. Yeah. You are right there. You're right there. You're right there. Yeah, and emphasize the there. You're right there. You're right there. There you go. David, how do you say this really fast? What you, what you, what you do, what you do. Good. What'd you do with the? What'd you do with the? Honey, what'd you do with the can opener? Honey, what'd you do with the can opener? Excellent job. Now you sound like a married man. <laughs> David, I'm looking in that drawer. I'm looking at the drawer in that okay. in Now this is tough drawer. now. Yeah, looking in that and the same thing <laughs> here, looking in the. You gotta get all these sounds. So looking in that, looking in that. I'm looking in that. Perfect. I'm looking in that drawer. I'm looking in that drawer. I'm looking in the drawer. I'm looking in the drawer. Good. In the. So I'm not the second sentence. In the. Look I'm in the drawer. There you go. So let's let's compare again. The upper one. I'm looking in that drawer. I'm looking at drawer. I'm, I'm looking, looking in that drawer. Good. And the lower one. I'm looking in the drawer. I'm looking in the drawer. Very good. Good job. Good job. And this is Morty's line. Ah, I need I need to hear the T or the CH, Daniel. So keep the CH a little bit stronger. What CH? It didn't? Yeah, so it, it, I don't care if it's a 
you, you don't have to do the CH, uh, but I make sure that, I'm sorry, the N, I have to hear the not. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Okay. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Why the hell did you tell us? Be angry. Why the hell did you tell us? You don't sound, now remember, Dan Daniel, when we use this word, usually we're a little bit upset, so it has to be strong. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Okay. Why the hell did you tell us? Be angry, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help. Daniel's never. Why the hell did you tell us? That was good. Good job. Be angry, young man. <laughs> and Grandma. Grandma Jean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Grandpa. Can we talk to her? <laughs> Can we talk to her? There you go. So once again, the H is here. Uh, talk yes, to her. Yes. Uh, what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, talk. Uh, can we talk to her? What's her name? There you go. There you go. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, and this this one was intonation, Gene. What? What? I can't hear you. What? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and this was Jerry's line. Whoopie woo. Whoopie woo. <laughs> Good. And once whoop again, most Americans say whoop de doo, whoop de doo. Do. Uh, like cartoon, right? Like a cartoon. Why? Why cartoon? Uh. Do 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 do. Uh. Uh, no, actually, it's, it's, it's a sound of, no, that's Scooby-Doo. Ah, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. <laughs> are you? No, not Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> so, actually, this is a good point, and I didn't talk about this. Uh, when we cheer, when we cheer for our baseball team or, you know, for somebody's birthday or something like that, uh, one of the words, when we're really excited, one of the words we can say is, whoopee, whoopee, okay? And it means excitement, all right? However, in daily conversation, we usually use this in the case of irony. And so, for example, um, Meryl says, I give up. So who okay. won? Jerry won, right? Yes, yes. Whoopee! Yeah. I win. Yes, yes. Jerry celebrate. Yeah, celebrate. but he doesn't. But he doesn't mean. He doesn't want to say that. He wants to sound sarcastic. And actually, his message in this case is similar to the expression we studied before. Duh. Yeah, I told you. See, whoopee woo. So that has all that kind of connotation. So. That's the difficult thing about sarcasm is those sarcastic words, I'll write it down as sarcastic, those sarcastic words and expressions can have so many meanings mixed into one. And this is one of those situations. I hope whoop de doo whoopie woo is, is a good expression. And I hope that we have a chance uh, to see that again in the future. Because it is a, a, a good expression. Uh, but uh, there are so many, many languages in the world. But the fighting between uh, husband and wife, the same. The only, the only one style. <laughs> the uh, only one style. Uh, uh, so that... We can understand whoopee woo. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I thought I you know that's that's one thing that I noticed too. Um, is this argument between Jerry and Meryl and then the parents on the phone it, every married person knows yeah. this situation. This is easy. <laughs> I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, 
I, I love that expression uh, because it's the polite way to say shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you guys did great. Everybody else, intonation, everything was really wonderful. Questions? Uh, I have a question. Shane. Let's go uh, Alexander first. Alexander. Okay, okay. Uh, the sentence. Could you make a little more noise? Yeah. Uh, 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 could you make a little less noise? Is okay. No, no, no. You so. So once again, this is sarcasm. Ah. Okay. <laughs> got it. Oh, you, you understand? Yeah, because it was strange. It, it, right. 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 Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> This is another typical thing uh, between a husband and a wife. Um, if uh, if the if the wife makes some food and gives it to the husband, and the husband says, "Could you add some more salt?" <laughs> okay, yeah. it's too uh, salty. May, maybe uh, more uh, more tense, uh, sensitive uh, uh, to add. Couldn't you make a little more noise? Uh, mm -hmm. could you? Yeah, I think uh, if we if we actually said couldn't, or if we said less, it would be the same. Oh, so couldn't and less, obviously, the the translation is going to be the mm -hmm. same. Um, and I think the the sarcasm disappears. Okay. Yeah. Um, so so to keep the sarcasm, we have to say the opposite thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, actually, the sentence should be, oops, couldn't you make a little, actually, less noise is what we should say. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it sounds more politely. <laughs> couldn't you make a little less noise? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Um, it, it does sound more polite. Uh, could you make less noise? Couldn't you make a little less? Well, okay. Now, what's interesting is, once again, this is speech mitigation. Wow. By, and the easy way to think about speech mitigation is by adding words, making the sentence longer, your opinion or your idea sounds softer, sounds more polite. Okay? Um, so yeah, by adding words, it definitely uh, is less direct, which makes it nicer. Any other questions or comments? Could you explain? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Kuni, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, usage of the right, uh, in this case, uh, yeah, right day or something. Where? Uh, Right, the uh, Greek, Greek line. See that, guys. Right, right there. Ah, uh, right there. Yeah, this usage. Uh, uh previous lesson you you explain. I think uh, right, right away. Yeah, right away. Okay, so uh, right, right is like an adverb meaning exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so not so right there. Not there, not there, but right there. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, so, doctor, I have a headache. Where does it hurt? Uh, it hurts there. Where? Mm -hmm. Right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. That's exactly where it hurts. Okay? So, I'll be with you now. Now, now? Not right now in five minutes. Not exactly now in five minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay? How about, how about right away? Yeah. Uh, can you do it for me right away? Mm -hmm. and that that means exactly now. I mean, stop exactly all now. Yeah. Do it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, almost okay. <laughs> uh, Dr. Kona, but to to drink to drink uh, verbs. Do you say is it to slam? To slam? Slam. Slam. S L E M. Yes. Ah, yes. And the idea of slam. The, this is the yes, idea of slam. Can you can you yes. do you know how to slam a door? Yes, I know, but uh, not. Yes, but I can 
I couldn't find the definition for to drink in the dictionary. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so to slam a drink is this. Boom! <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, <laughs> the dictionary didn't have it. That's good. I feel happy. Yes, and uh, it's um, amazing how rich is the, the English vocabulary because in French we have, we would have to add uh, an adverb or something to, to express the same idea. Ah, I see. Not thought all, but... Uh... <coughs> Hold on, a, wait a second, Anne. I'm, I'm checking. Um... I looked in several. Oh. In Merriam-Webster. In the... Okay, if you, I think the way... way you would understand it would be if you look at slam they talk about ah yeah they, they, it's it's it is here uh, i'll show you yeah, yeah you got to really look that's i'm really happy when things aren't in the dictionary uh <laughs> so, we have to consult chance dictionary <laughs> that's right that's right so basically definition uh Number one, number two, to shut with force, to throw with violence, so to yes. throw something violently. And if you go all the way down, they do say to drink something quickly. Yes. yes. To throw in uh, our throat. <laughs> to way to down at the bottom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, let me go back to Cooney for a second. Um, so Cooney, uh, look at these three mm -hmm. sentences. I'll be with you right away. Tell me right now, it's right in front of you. So do you understand how right means exactly in these cases? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. People do use explain about uh, to this, this, and yeah, how do you say that? Uh, uh, go to, uh, usage of the go, go means uh, urinate, but uh, most people, 50%, People don't understand this kind of situation, but you told you understand right right away. Uh, just was the video, yeah. Yeah, did you understand right away as you were watching? Uh huh. Yeah. So yeah, where is it? Away is a bit to yeah, good expression. I think. So. Ah, yeah. Right away. Right away means immediately. Oh, that's a great. Yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah, right away means immediately. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, that's wow. I never I never realized. Yeah, that's that's a this is an e cubed expression. <laughs> wow. Great. I think Jean had a comment and then Alexander after Jean. Jean, did you want to say something earlier? Uh you not forgot. special. <laughs> not special. Uh, I wanted uh, to ask about uh, about a man's name, Morty. Morty. Yeah. Uh, it's not Marty. No. Nope. It's not Marty. Uh, it's Morty. Morty. Yep. What's what is the name? Morty is. Mortimer. Short. Mortimer. Mortimer. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe more. It's a Jewish name. Wow. Bible name? No, it's actually Morty. 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 No, that's the full name, Morty. It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, I never I think, heard. I, I think never it's, heard. I think it's a Hebrew name. I'm thinking. Yes. I never heard that name. Not common. I I couldn't recognize that name in DDM dictation. Yeah. It's impossible. 
Yeah. Murray. 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 Yeah, exactly. That's that's why I left uh, it here. But yeah, we did have to dictate it once. Yeah. Alexander, you had a question. It's not a question. Uh, you told about uh, right away, right there, and there is no screen. Uh, there is just. Uh, yeah, I'm going back. I apologize. Ask, I asked to show us. Uh, where the hell did it go? Where did I make the answer? K for K. Ah, here we go. Yeah, uh, I'll be with you right away. Right away means immediately, uh, right now, right in front of you. It all means exactly. Okay. So right means exactly. Right away, immediately. Which and what is immediately? Immediately means. Exactly now. And okay, one question for me. Uh huh. Okay. Go ahead, Cody. Uh, first, uh, first two uh, line from uh, Greg's. Why Star he box. mentioned about uh, olives? Uh, I don't know. Okay, it's now this is why I like Seinfeld, um, because Cooney. Imagine you and your friend are having a discussion. And many times when we have real discussions, we talk about one thing. And then suddenly we talk about something completely different. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And that's the situation. And it's very rare in sitcoms to see this real situation. So, you know, they're talking about exercise, and suddenly, for no reason, Greg says, starts talking about olives, okay? Mm -hmm. So, this is the, a nice thing about Seinfeld, is actually the conversation flow is very natural. It just mm -hmm. changes. This, okay? So, there's no special reason. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Greg is just thinking about olives. Mm-hmm. He's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but sometimes we cannot. Uh, I just a kind of metaphor. I uh, yeah, yeah. A kind of metaphor. Of the, yeah, it's not though. Yeah, it's not nothing. <laughs> no, no, zero meaning. Zero meaning. Zero yeah. meaning. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point though. Sometimes, uh, sometimes changes in conversations mean something. But but you know, Greg is Greg. Does, Greg is a boring person. He has no metaphors. <laughs> People are a ADD in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I agree. Uh, uh, Santa just said people are ADD in general. If you put it in small letters, it, it says add. You have to put it in big letters. Uh, ADD, attention deficit disorder. There you go. There you go. Yeah. What? It's a it's a it's a psychological it's normal, it's not a disorder. I think it's normal. ADD is common. That's my opinion. Wow. And you have so many abbreviations. Wow. Yeah, yeah. ADD stands for attention deficit disorder. And uh basically it means you can't concentrate. I mean, you're, you're, you're looking at yeah, one yeah, thing, and then boom, yeah. your concentration goes over here, and then boom. Yes. So children <laughs> are especially like that. Yes, 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 I agree. And, and what's terrible, it's really terrible, nowadays in America, they say it's a psychological problem, and they're giving children drugs. Yes, yes. Oh, it's a disaster. I think it's horrible. Yes, I know. I know. I heard the, I heard uh, so many uh, 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 something maybe um, uh, so big amount of percent of uh, people in the U.S. Uh, take the drug. Yeah from different 
psychological uh, uh, for psychological treatment, uh, uh, something like that. Yep. It, it, 50, 50 grams of vodka, <laughs> and that's all. <laughs> yeah, problem solved. Here you go. Here, here's the statistic. I don't know how accurate this is, but I'll show you. Uh, they say 70 million Americans taking mind-altering drugs. Uh, I think I think they're talking about uh, generally about volume. Uh, about what do you mean volume? They're, they're talking about prescription drugs. No, 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 there's, 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 a, I, I'm talking about, I don't exactly know how, how to pronounce this. Val, valium is a, is a drug, is a type of drug that are uh, usually prescribed for people. Uh, valium. The various, valium. valium. Uh, yeah. Uh, who has uh, stress problems. Right, right. Yeah, Valium is, uh, Valium is called, what is it, the, uh, the middle class opium. I think that's what they call it. Um, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, Valium, Valium's, Valium's expensive, but, uh, but a lot of people uh, do get it. Here you go. This is all the news, and you can see it. Seventy percent of Americans take at least one prescription medication. More than half of Americans take at least two prescriptions, and that's from the Mayo Clinic. And the Mayo Clinic is one of America's most famous. And the most common prescriptions are for antibiotics, antidepressants, which is like Valium, and Whoa. so uh, these this it's it's really shocking. If you watch TV in America, eighty <laughs> percent of the advertisements are about drugs. Eighty percent. Ah, it's amazing. You know, it used to be Coca Cola and Pizza Hut. Now it's drugs, drugs, drugs. Coca Cola, drugs, drugs, drugs. Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Shane, every day I'm sure Shane uh, you're in 30 percent oh yeah because, <laughs> because you get read uh, from TV oh yeah 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 that's right <laughs> actually I just got I just got something new I'm very excited the this is a uh, mukuna Prient. it's some sort of a uh, bean. Anyway, um, and these are yeah. I take natural medication. It's not medication, uh, vitamins and stuff. But yeah, this is. I think the prescription drug things. I mean, if you're sick, um, you know what can you do? You have to, I guess, take prescription drugs. But it's pretty scary. Pretty scary, say, especially say, with children. Uh, uh, I want to add that I think. Uh, Advertising advertising drugs in 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 television is pretty is pretty much normal because uh, television television well do you watch television television I think television is for people that over eighty years over eighty yeah pretty much because I I don't. No, it, it's for for people that uh, that might have uh, problem problems with health, uh, so that they need some drugs. Drugs probably. So I, I think uh, mo most people who watch watch television are old. Here you go. Half of TV viewers are 54 and older. Yeah. TV viewers average age is 50. Well, uh, not too bad. I, 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 I must have uh, 
overstated it. <laughs> but, no, but you know, you're, you're right, though. The point is, you're right. Uh, the, most, the, po the point is, uh, uh, the te old. yeah, the television is uh, for old people, so they, they they might need some drugs. Uh, that's why uh, they they always advertise. They're always advertising drugs. So yeah, it's, we call it's, it. The it's normal. It's it's normal because television is uh, is uh, changing. Uh, it's, the demographics. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, not demographics, but uh, changing it's uh, people who watch it. <laughs> yeah, the it's the baby boomer generation. Uh, so it's it's uh, you know it's the 50, 60, 70 year old. Uh, it's a huge generation, um, and actually, I'm kind of part of a baby boom generation too. Uh, I'll show you the graph here. But yeah, that that generation now is retiring. Uh, they come home and they turn the television on and they just leave it on. <laughs> uh, so this is babies born. So this is uh, my dad and my mom. This red section is my mom and dad are the baby boomer uh, generation, and you can see a lot yeah. of babies in this area. And then I was born down here in a, a mini boom. That was the uh, Vietnam War. Uh, this is World War II. Uh, this is back at World War One, and then dropped off during the Depression. Uh, anyway, yeah. Well, why is baby boomer? Because uh, what happens? The what, yeah, what happens, Gene, is a lot of times in a lot of countries when uh, hold on a second. If there's a war, uh, young men go to war. And if there's a big war, thousands, hundreds of thousands of young men go to war. But they have their girlfriend or they have their wife. So uh, as a, before they go, before they leave to war, um, they have a relationship with their girlfriend, their wife, oh, and okay, okay. many children. Okay, uh, I I get it, uh, uh, but anyway, I I don't catch the meaning uh, baby boomer. Uh, bo okay, boom baby born, baby. Uh, many many baby uh, born in the world. That's right. Okay, boom. okay. Yep, an explosion yes, of births. Yes, yes. Explosion yeah, I, of I, I'm a, of amount. Yeah. I'm a one of baby boomer. Yeah, Cooney, you're exactly. Yeah, you're mom yeah, and dad just, after World War Two, right? Mm -hmm, sure. So the I'm born in uh, 1949. Yeah. 1949. Yeah. Oh, you're wow. You're about the same as my dad. My dad was born in mm -hmm. 1942. Mm -hmm. So the yeah, uh, baby boomer. Baby, uh, yeah, most two biggest two population is uh, in Japan. Yeah, uh, 40. 48 probably in Japan, but uh, 48 was but, the uh, one year older people <laughs> from me. Yeah, it's uh, most to big history. Uh, we could say the but, uh, so so yeah. 1948 was it, yeah, but uh, but uh, or, uh, how do you say the entrance uh, entrance examination? These people was uh, dropped out, so that we are most <laughs> terrible. Uh, age. Yeah, one for year. getting into college. <laughs> one year is different. Oh, one boy. Year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I know the competition <laughs> rate in Japan yeah. and Asia for universities is extremely high. Maybe instead of uh, boarding child, children, the people sitting in front of TV and watch watching the ad about drugs yeah yeah so now all these people who are older like Daniel said they're you're, they're having you know physical difficulties yeah. mental stress they need drugs <laughs> throw away throw away the TV go to bed to doing doing the children <laughs> that's right make some kids yes, yes. you know what uh, we have a boom a baby boomer Generation here, uh, I think maybe is nineteen 
1980s. In the but 1980s? There is no war. But there is no mm -hmm. war. But yeah, yeah, I think maybe that was because of the economy, or why was that? Yeah, I think when it was the economy, it was the 80s, 80s. If you look at America, it's the it was same not thing. The economy time. Yeah, it's the same thing. We, in the late eighties, we had a little bit of a USSR broken, maybe right there. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's right. So the USSR, the freedom and everything. I guess for a, or eighty one. I don't. I don't remember exactly. Oh, it's. I'd be curious to see the chart. Yeah, I'm wondering. This might be. I don't think this is because of the first Iraq War, but anyway, I'm. I'm wondering. Is this the economy? I mean, why? Why what, did we have a small peak here? I'm curious. This is because of Vietnam. There's no question. Mm -hmm. this is Vietnam. But I don't know why this is. This is. You know, sometimes if the economy is bad, and in America. The economy was not so good in the late 70s. It started getting better uh, than Reagan came. But I don't know what this reason is. I remember the Japanese baby boomers phenomena. Yeah, by the this this number. Uh, my experience. Uh, <laughs> I I I go to school, uh, junior high school. Yeah, we have a uh, 11 class classes. And one class is uh, 60 members, students, Whoa. in the city area. But uh, right now is a uh, class capacity that yeah, total students 35. 35. 35? One class. One yeah, 30, 35 one class. Ah, that's so yeah. much better. So and so mm -hmm. and, and so many so many classes of course. Yeah, maybe oh, three wow. classes or five classes. So yeah. Cooney, you had. 60 people in one classroom when you were young, right? Yeah. Yeah. And now okay. it's about 35 people, right? Yeah, 35. Yeah, one class. Yeah. Wow. So the, yeah, they are very. I bet oh. we embed <laughs> our classes are very oh. uh, many members. Yeah, many wow. classmates. Yeah, such kind of way we uh, experience uh, baby boomer. Yeah. Baby, yeah. bad, bad teacher. <laughs> oh, the teacher! I feel sorry for the teachers. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh. Some teachers are terrible. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I I imagine the chart of Chinese borning. Yeah, I'm curious as <laughs> as the Chinese birth chart, birth rates. <laughs> Horizont, uh, horizontal line. Yeah, I wonder uh, if it's uh. Because it should be straight line uh, above. <laughs> I really want. I, I wish I could find it. Uh, Chinese birth rate. Go to graphs. I'm, I'm just farting around here. Hold up. Chinese birth uh, chart. Let's see if there's a image. China has the only one chart policy. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. Uh, here we go. I'll show you the images here. Hold on a second. Right, it's kind of tough to see, but you can see in China they peaked right at right before the Korean War. Uh, they peaked right before the Korean War, and then it looks like around 1955. That's when they started the one-child policy, and then boom. Yes, yes. This is America, Vietnam. Wow. Yeah, so America's birth rate is quite higher. Uh, anyway, uh, enough of those birth rate stuff. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, anyway. Um, okay, I'll go ahead and finish up today's Hangout, and I just want to remind you, uh, we do have the live classes this uh, weekend, too. So we have a live class tonight and tomorrow morning, well, for me. And, of course, I will send you invitations to those. Um, and I also want to mention that we have a schedule change for VIP. Um, we used to have Saturdays. 
6 p.m. But this time has changed to Friday 4 p.m. So there is no more Saturday 6 p.m. It's now uh, Friday 4 p.m. For most of you, that doesn't matter. Uh, you wouldn't be able to join anyway, but uh, just for your information. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Shane, I, I'm sorry. Uh, would you mind to explain uh, uh, the difference between uh, a simple, uh, simply uh, what uh, is uh, the live DDM? Okay. So DDM VIP, DDM Live. Uh, basically, DDM VIP is very expensive. DDM Live is less expensive. Uh, DDM VIP, we meet every week and role play and discuss. Uh, DDM Live is they meet every other week and Q&A. DDM VIP um, will have a maximum of 15 students. DDM Live, no maximum. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, 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 DDM Live, uh, uh, the, uh, the people uh, uh, is, uh, are hanging out uh, with everybody, with with each each other, and you, and uh, give you uh, uh, you 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 uh, give them any question. No, 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 no. They ask the questions. Oh, ask. Yeah. Ask. They ask the questions, okay. and I do my best to give them the answers. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. If the questions are about our lessons and about pronunciation and usage, and, and Daniel sometimes joins, and he asks his uh, vocabulary questions, too. Jim, what about that guy who always thumb down to you? Uh, because I saw... Uh, a lot of your video uh, in DDM uh, on daily in easy English equipped. So yeah. Called, and there is there is always one thumb down. Yeah, I Does know. That guy explained that. Why? No, no. Why he, did he do it? I, I don't know. I you know this is what we call a troll. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a troll is like a monster who just follows you and tries to kill you. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a troll, uh, I assume. Uh, I have no idea who it is. And I, I don't, it doesn't bother me. Um, yeah, but, yeah, if somebody complains and gives me a reason, I love it. Um, but if people complain but don't give a reason, I, I pay zero attention. It doesn't bother me at all. If I had like 30 people complaining, then I would have to say, oh, what's the problem? Uh, but if it's just one, two, three people, uh, I don't worry about it. Once again, if people have a reason, I want to hear it. Holly, you have a great weekend too. <clears throat> Maniacal persistence. Yeah, that was... Andre, Andre Boyd said maniacal persistence. Perfect expression. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish up today. It's Friday. I hope that your Friday is, is great. Gene, are you playing tonight? No. That's not good. You I'm... need to play on Fridays. <laughs> no. I should uh, hang you out. Hang out with you. Yes, hang out. Hang you out means to hang me out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think Gene, Gene wants to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, 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 I should be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, by the way, yeah, Alexander. Don't be a troll. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gene, the the NSA is. I am a you. troll. I'm a troll. Yeah, we'll take you down. They're gonna take you down. With, Obama's gonna send a drone to your house. Ah, uh, it's interesting. <coughs> I I know. Uh, Another meaning about hanging out, uh, it's a drink, uh, it's take a drug and... Uh, ah, yeah. Uh, yes. Just hanging out, man. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's true. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish up. You guys have a fantastic weekend, and if you can, mm -hmm. join me in the live hangouts. I will send you invitations. Um, and that's it, okay? Sure. Yes. What do you gonna, uh, What do you want to say? Ah, Alexander uh, has started up uh, some some campaigns, some promotions on VK.com, and I'm going to talk about that in my next podcast. And uh, I just want to uh, say thanks. And I'm curious, Alexander, is it going okay? Are you getting any responses? Uh, I have an, I have attention, but uh, just one guy sent me a message. Okay. It takes time. It does. It takes and time. So you know what's the problem? Uh, I think uh, because Russia, it's on. It's uh, um, in school, in university, we we study uh, British English, uh -huh. and that's uh, strange for for us because you speak American. Uh, this cancellation. It really blows his mind. Do you know what I mean? If you, that's why, Alexander, if you need something specific, if you want me to make a video uh, to specifically talk about something, please send me messages, okay? We're going to think about it. Yeah, if, if, uh, like, you know, Shane, uh, can you make a video that talks about the differences between American and British English, like a three-minute video? or something like that. No, uh, I'll I be happy. The, everybody knows the difference. No, I don't think so, um, to be honest. Uh, I think it's confusing. Um, I think people don't realize that British English and American English is not just pronunciation, but it's also vocabulary. It's vastly different. different. And also British English actually has many variations. Um, there's the London accent, which most people study, but then there's the Liverpool accent and the Manchester accent and the Scottish accent. And I think, yeah. uh, and they're completely different languages, yeah. But anyway, um, if you need something, just let me know for VK, uh, and I'll make it specifically for, for VK. You, you think about it, and if you think of anything, just let me know, okay? Okay. Uh, Alexander, uh, can you take uh, the link uh, okay. in, uh, in uh, uh, no, 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 uh, uh, in uh, Let's Master English, the link, okay? Okay. In the community on yeah. Google+, Plus. Uh, because of... Uh, I can't uh, uh, the hit uh, your link in uh, chat because my app. Uh, oh, okay, okay. My iPad. Okay, you're on the iPad. Got it. Yes. You guys take care. Have a fantastic uh, weekend, and I shall see you again in the next lesson. Thank you. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, Shane. See you. See you, Gene. Have a great day. Thank you. Peace Take out. <laughs> Take it easy. David, are you still there? Are you sleeping? I'm here. I'm listening. <laughs> you take care, David. Have a great weekend, okay? Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Take, you take too. care, Alexander. Bye. Bye-bye.